From the relics of early animation to feature film and television memorabilia and theme park souvenirs, Disneyana is one of the largest fields of collecting. The Disney stories and characters are part of our everyday modern lives, but this largely popular field goes beyond just being a hobby for some. At the Walt Disney World Resort, the National Fantasy Fan Club holds its annual show and sale at Disney Memorabilia. I am the president of the National Fantasy Fan Club. NFFC is a club for Disney enthusiasts. We're over 22 years old, and we have a lot of hardcore Disney fans in our organization. Some of them take it to the extreme. I have some friends like Mickey and Minnie Bouse, whose entire house is all decorated in just Mickey. Initially, because our names are Mickey and Minnie, we collected mostly Mickey and Minnie characters. Um, that's still probably our main focus. Um, but it got to the point that, especially with Mickey Mouse, there is so much available that you really can't collect it all. You can't buy it all unless we you're tried. unless you're really rich. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you really you get to the point that there's just so much available. Early on in our collecting, I asked Minnie. I said, "Well, I collect Mickey and Minnie. What do you collect?" And she says, "Well, I like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs." So we did that actually for about a year or two early on in our marriage. And then we said, "Well, hold it. That's not fair because every time I get a gift, I get Mickey and Minnie. I get two. And then I had to buy her eight gifts. Eight <laughs> gifts. Snow White and the Seven Jars. I said, that's not fair. You're getting eight and I'm getting two. Another fan that we have is a guy named George who has an amazing set of Disney tattoos. Over a thousand of them cover his body. And whenever I see George, I say, George, what's the new one? Actually, for a couple of years, the answer was something to the effect of 102 Dalmatians. We have a good friend, Brian Ramsey, who has a wonderful collection of, I would say big figs, but I don't know if you would call the car behind me, for example, a big fig. It's actually ride vehicles that he collects and has a wonderful store that you can go and see his wonderful collection of Disney merchandise. The, really, the magic of Disney is everybody leaves there with a good memory and of having fun and good times and the nostalgia of that is what keeps bringing people back. They all want to hold on to a piece of that. So that's why the marketing that Disney has ties in with us because of the collectability of just having the actual piece of the park or the piece of the ride that they rode on that they had such a good time with. So I guess on, in a way when people have a bad day they can look at that item and remember the fun they had at Disney World or something to that aspect and it just kind of brightens their day. My collecting kind of became an extreme collection when we actually stepped up to the plate with Disney and said, look, we're willing to be your largest liquidator, we're willing to take everything you can throw at us. Um, little did we know that it'd be come from everything from ride cars to monorails to props to signs to restaurant equipment to here's our motel furniture. So everything that we had multiples of, I kept one or two of every item. So instead we ended up needing a bigger warehouse just for me to keep all the stuff I decided I wanted to keep because there was so much. So I guess I became one of the few people that actually turned their hobby into a living. A lot of our collectors specialize in different things. You'll find it just to collect Mickey is not enough. It's got to be Sorcerer Mickey or it's got to be Steamboat Willie Mickey. People specialize in that or they may specialize in a particular character. It could be Jiminy Cricket or Sleeping Beauty. Some people like just the theme park. Some people like just the animation. The Disney collectors, they have uh, a lot of different particular interests and it seems like with Disney there's something for everyone.